Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the briefing for what looks to be a really good day, Wednesday, the 5th of June. OK, I've got yesterday's chart on here, and you can see we had sort of a weakening warm front, cold front on their way that brought with it some miserable weather yesterday. Fast forwarding to midnight, they had passed through. And midday today, we've been left with a really nice air mass, and you can see isobars just kinking around here bringing us a sort of northwesterly flow, but relatively light, and it looks like a really good day. Continuing on to this evening, no significant weather on the way, and tomorrow looks like a very similar picture. Fairly light westerly breeze by the looks of it, and hopefully another good soaring day. Winds today in the Lasham area between 300 and 290 at about 15 to 20 knots. Uh, up sort of into Wales, showing 270 and down into sort of Dorset direction, 330. So generally between the west and the northwest. Yeah, looking at the sat pick, you can see it's pretty clear now. And uh, there's a few little bits of cumulus possibly developing out here. Um, some little scuddy bits of cloud that have already passed through and is burning off as we speak. So nothing to worry about there. Rainfall radar, you can see there are a few spots up here to the north. And if we run through the rainfall forecast for the day, it does look like there will be some showers, very localised, but up to the north. Uh, I know some people will be tasking into Wales, um, but looking down towards Dorset and Devon direction, it does look uh, a little bit drier. Continuing on in the afternoon, by Two or three o'clock, actually, it's drying out a little bit, and these showers are becoming uh, very spaced out and very small. But either way, they're staying well clear of Lasham, so anyone tasking a little bit close to home is not going to cause you any problem at all. Public forecast for Lasham then showing sunny intervals this morning, a little bit cloudier into the afternoon with a top temperature of about 14 degrees. Probably will be feeling a bit chilly both on the ground with that breeze. Uh, and certainly airborne if you get up towards cloud base, it's better to be quite cold up there. UV index getting up to five or six, so even if it doesn't feel that warm on the ground, um, sunburn will be an issue, so please be careful of that. I know I will be. Okay, midday temperatures, Lasham area, this is showing between about 12 and 14 degrees, up into Wales, 11 and 12, and down into Dorset area, 12, 13 degrees. Running forward to about 4 p.m., 14, 15 to the Lasham area, still sticking around at 11 and 12 into Wales, 13 degrees sort of into the Midlands and similar down uh, towards Devon, 12, 13s. Dew points midday, sat nice and low in the Lasham area, about five, a little bit lower up into Wales and the Midlands, about three down there and sort of four degrees down uh, to the southwest as well. Running that forward to 4 p.m., very similar, really, fours and five degrees uh, over most of task area today. It's current view outside. I just give that a refresh. Um, yeah, looking very nice. It looks like it's starting to just get going already. And uh, you can just about see looking to the north, it is kicking off in that direction quite nicely. Just give that a refresh. Yeah, certainly developing very nicely and coming our way. And you can probably see on here, if you're not out there already, we have started the grid. Okay, temperature dew point split, you can see opening up very nicely, has been for an hour or two now, I'll just give that a refresh. Yeah, so currently at Lasham, 12 degrees, dew points around 6, so that's setting itself up really nicely. Odium forecast, not a lot to report, really few at 3,500 for the day, wind 8 knots from the west, nice short TAF, which is what we like to see. Wednesday, uh, here we've got Dave Masson's forecast, he's... Uh, forecasting a very good day, good for five to five hundred to seven fifty in the in the good area. Um, best areas near the south coast: Devon, Somerset, Dorset, Hampshire, Sussex, and Kent, and also Wales and the West Midlands. Uh, so looking very good. He's saying it's going to get going pretty much first thing, three and a half to four thousand feet, and about four and a half to five thousand by the afternoon. Uh, but not much more than 5,000 around Lashen. And he reckons it's going to keep going until 6 p.m. and probably to at least 7. So here is your potential flight distance for the day. That's one of the best I've seen in quite a while. Uh, you can see very good down, all the way down to sort of Cornwall direction, really, and very nice into the beginning part of the Midlands and into South Wales, looking very nice. 
That's ever so slightly worse area here, uh, just to the east on the downwind side of Bristol. Uh, that's just the sea air coming in a bit later. So if we roll through the hourly potential flight distance, looking good from about 10 a.m., and uh, looking really nice throughout the whole task area throughout the day. 2 p.m. here, and you can just see it ever so slightly worsening just on downwind of Bristol, uh, but not, not a lot to worry about. And by about 5 p.m., you see it is getting worse in that area, but remaining quite soarable down to Dorset and into South Wales. And it looks like it's still going just about and becoming unsoarable, according, according to this forecast, around about 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Certainly nothing. OK, no TAMs. There are a few to be worrying about here, so please listen carefully. I'm just going to show you, first of all, there's a bit of airspace uh, near Kemble. Uh, so you see so just a, sort of on the western side of Bryce and over towards Kemble, going around Aston Down, around or uh, near Little Risington. Uh, that's a temporary CTA, and we won't be going in that, please. Otherwise... Uh, Weston is active. Uh, there's lots of paragliders around. Lots of these NOTAMs are just um, notifying of paragliders. Uh, there's some parachuting up here just south of the Min 47 at Shobden. That's all day, uh, of a radius of 10 miles and surface to 14,000 feet. Um, if you happen to be going this far, there are some danger areas on the west coast of Wales, so it's the southwest coast. So have a look at that if you're going that far. And also some parachuting down here. Is that number 11? Yeah, parachuting at Parley, uh, 8.2 nautical mile radius. That's not until 15.30 UTC, so not until half past four local. So possibly just keep an eye out for that on your way back. Uh, but I would expect most people to be tracking north of that anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it on the no turn front. The main one being, of course, um, that one around Kemble and Bryce area. Be really careful of that. Okay, setup wise, standard two seven setup. So we've already got the grid going. That's going to be here. Uh, launch point on the runway here. Cables running down the edge of the runway. Should get some good winch launches today with the wind. Winch launching from the grass and any club aerotoes uh, will be from the runway here. Uh, but please go and join the grid if you're planning to go cross country. Uh, winch launches will be available throughout the grid and after it uh, we've got four or five tugs on the go so we'll get you all launched however you want nice and quickly today uh, no movements that's nice and easy the simulator serves well if anyone wants it but i think it's a day to be on the airfield and it is going to be very busy so certainly for the less experienced people please keep uh your wits about you certainly everybody keep a really good lookout and let's have a nice safe day I will see you out there. It looks like a really good one. Hopefully we'll have some big flights. Bye for now.